Hello guys! Um, isa sa mga mahalagang bagay na dapat nating matutunan bago natin mapalalim ang ating kaalaman sa isang concept ng mathematics ay sa pamamagitan ng um, pag-intindi ng mga basic ideas nito. Now, tulad ng learning episode natin ngayon, kailangan nating malaman, maintindihan kung paano mag-identify ng polynomial expressions and rational algebraic expressions. Happy learning math easy with me guys! Now this time, we are going to describe and identify rational algebraic expressions. Before doing that, let us first recall polynomials. Okay. A polynomial can have constants like negative 7, 9, 3 over 4, negative square root of 7, and so on. A polynomial can also have variables like a, b, x, y, z, and so on. It can only have it can also have exponents like 3 in the expression a cube 0 in the expression x raised to 0 but only whole number exponents like 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on um, are acceptable. Now, let's have this example. Is this negative 5y raised to the power of negative 3 a polynomial or not? This is not a polynomial because only positive integers and zero are allowed as exponents of variables. How about 10 raised to the power of negative 3? Is this a polynomial or not? It is a polynomial. Although 10 has a negative exponent, still it is considered as a polynomial because its base is a constant and the whole expression is a constant. Now what about this? Negative 5 divided by y cubed or negative 5 over y cubed. Is this a polynomial or not? It's not a polynomial. There should be no variable or variables in the denominator. So that makes it not a polynomial. And Negative 5 over y cubed is actually the same as negative 5 multiplied by y raised to the power of negative 3. Okay, this one is our previous example. And these two expressions are equal. Which are not, or which is not a polynomial. How about x raised to the power of 1 half? Is this a polynomial or not? Not a polynomial. There should be no fraction as exponent of any variable. No? So, the exponent here is a fraction which is not allowed in a polynomial. So it's not a polynomial. How about 9 raised to the power of 
one half. Is this a polynomial or not? A polynomial. Although the exponent is a fraction, but its base is a constant, which makes the whole expression a constant. And how about um, the square root of x? Is this a polynomial or not? Not a polynomial. There should be no variable or variables inside any radical signs which cannot be simplified to qualify as a polynomial. Again, there should be no variable or variable inside any radical signs with this condition. Now, square root of x is actually equal to our previous example which is x raised to the power of 1 half. And 9 raised to 1 half, is it constant or variable? Uh, I mean, is it a polynomial or not? A polynomial. Although the exponent of 9 is a fraction, but it's the base 9 is a constant, so the whole expression is considered a constant. And how about the square root of 5? Is this a polynomial or not? A polynomial. Okay. Although... 5 is inside a radical sign, but still, this is a polynomial, and this is considered as a constant. Okay, now this time, so we have already recalled uh, what a polynomial, or how, we have already recalled how we identify polynomial and not polynomial algebra expression. So I think um, we are now ready to um, identify rational algebra expressions. But first, what is a rational algebra expression? Now, a rational algebra expression is actually an expression whose numerator and denominator are polynomials. Okay, take note. The numerator and the denominator are polynomials. And it can be expressed as a quotient of two polynomials, P and Q. P and Q here are both polynomials and Q must not be equal to zero. Or the denominator must not be equal to zero. So let us try to identify the following as rational algebraic expressions or not. So here we have 6 over the difference x minus 1. Or 6 divided by the difference x, the difference of x and 1. Now, is this a rational algebraic expression or not? Let us see. The numerator 6 is a polynomial. The denominator x minus 1 is also a polynomial. So therefore, this expression, this algebraic expression is a rational algebraic expression. Okay, how about this example? The difference of 3x and the square root of y is over the product of 5 and square root of x. Is this expression rational algebraic expression or not? Let's see. Okay. The numerator is, as you can see, y is inside the radical sign. Now take note, if a variable is inside the radical sign, 
then it's not a polynomial. So, the whole expression, the numerator expression is not a polynomial. And also, the denominator x is inside the radical sign. So, not a polynomial also. And since both numerator and denominators are not polynomial, then the whole expression is not a rational algebraic expression. Okay. Now, how about this expression? Um, the difference of 2x raised to the power of negative 2 or we have 2x or 2 multiplied by x raised to the power of negative 2 subtracted by 3 is over the product of 5 and the square root of x. Now, let us see if this is A rational algebraic expressions expression or not let's evaluate okay now here x has an exponent which is negative 2 and if you can still remember um, negative exponent is not allowed to be the exponent of a variable so therefore this numerator expression is not a polynomial and in the denominator, we have also variable inside the radical sign which is um, prohibited for a polynomial expression. So therefore, the denominator is also not a polynomial expression. And finally, the whole expression is not a rational algebraic expression. Now this, 18 Multiplied by n, added by 1, or, 18 in, or 8, 18n plus 1, all over n squared plus n minus 2. Okay, let us see if this is a um, rational algebraic expression or not. Let's investigate. The numerator is a polynomial the denominator also is a polynomial so therefore the whole algebraic expression is a rational algebraic expression now this we have 3 plus the quotient of 1 and 2 minus x all over 5 is this a rational algebraic expression or not? Let us see. Now, what do you think? Okay. Now, as you can see, this expression 1 over 2 minus x has a variable in the denominator. And that is not allowed for a polynomial. So, therefore, the whole numerator expression the whole expression of numerator is not polynomial and of course the denominator is a polynomial but since there is one uh, not polynomial or the numerator or either the numerator or the denominator is not a polynomial then the whole expression is considered not a rational algebraic expression okay so this one uh, x plus 6 all over 3x minus the square root of y let us see if this is a polynomial or I mean algebraic expression or not what do you think okay the denominator is not the expression in the denominator is not polynomial because y is inside the radical sign and that is not allowed for a in a polynomial. So therefore, 
It is not a rational algebraic expression. Okay. So, thank you very much for watching. And I hope you subscribe, like, and comment. And don't forget to um, watch my other videos in mathematics. And also other side videos of mine. And thank you for your time. And God bless. Keep safe also. Bye-bye.